Oh, he's an Oscar-nominated filmmaker and creative force behind iconic films like Hoop Dreams, which won every Critics Award and a Peabody in 1995. It followed rising basketball stars on their quest to make it to the NBA. Now his docu-series, City So Real, focuses on Chicago's historic mayoral race in 2019. What is necessary for Chicago is a vision, actual solutions for the issues we face. Lori Lightfoot senses a late surge and has won the endorsement of progressives. It is a breeding ground for corruption. What do we do? Shut it down! That happens every time one of them get killed. They riot. It breaks my heart. I got a room full of beautiful black children and they're all trying to get out. And the docuseries director, Steve James, joins us. Good to see you again, Steve. Great to see you guys. Hi, Steve. Welcome back to the show. You know, this docuseries is fantastic, and it's really meant to be a portrait of the city of Chicago to showcase the crossroads in our city. I read that doing this and following the politics in Chicago was a bucket list item of yours. Why? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I've been here for quite a while now, and, and uh, you know, for years I've thought it would be great to do a kind of portrait of this city that's so wonderful and maddening and crazy and and just every adjective you can think of. And so when this mayoral election came along, uh, it promising to be the most wide open maybe ever, it just seemed like this was the perfect time to do the story. Yeah, was there anything that jumped out at you that surprised you the most? I remember the first thing I remember is how many candidates there were in the race. Yeah, well, there were 21 originally, and 14 made the ballot. Um, I knew that we weren't going to follow 14 candidates, uh, it, you know, closely. That would be utter madness. Uh, I think. I think what really stood out to me in terms of the politics part of it was the petition process. Mm -hmm. um, you know, here in Chicago, there's a great pride in the fact that it's like a blood sport, as one operative says in the series. And so we got an up close look at the petition challenging process where Chicago gamesmanship uh, and ruthless politicizing maybe goes on at, the, at its height. Yeah, and when you talk about the petition process, also the pettiness of Chicago politics, I think that was big time on display, wouldn't you say, Steve? I would say so. I mean, you know, Chicagoans take a lot of pride in, in how hardball politics are here. And there's this feeling that if you can make it in Chicago politically, you can make it anywhere. And, you know, when you look at someone like Barack Obama, who cut his teeth politically here, yeah. you know, it worked for him. Yeah. Now, as a filmmaker and someone who loves Chicago, is it ever tough for you to wrestle with what you show, what you want to show, to be objective, to not show favoritism to a city that we all love? Well, I, I will confess to some favoritism because I love this city. And, and I, I want people who see this series to love Chicago, too, but, but not to get there through a Pollyanna portrait of the city. Um, it's a pretty unvarnished, gritty, in the streets look at this city that we all love. This city that's inspiring at times, it's infuriating at other times. And so I'm, I'm hoping that that's what, come, what people take away. You know what I really enjoyed, Steve, from watching it is that you did a great job of highlighting all of Chicago. And by that, I mean you jump from, you know, Bridgeport to Bronzeville to Lakeview to, to all the different sides and faces. And I think that's one of the beauties of our city, even as segregated as it is, which we all know. But yet you kind of see a little, you feel Chicago all throughout the docuseries. Well, that's wonderful for you to say. I think you should be doing my interviews from now on. <laughs> She's your publicist right here. <laughs> and as a matter of fact, I was watching it with someone. They go, how come you weren't in this docuseries? So I do have a bone to pick with you. <laughs> um, yeah, it was important to get around to as many neighborhoods as we could. Obviously, we don't hit them all, but we did pretty good. Yeah. And, and I think that is one of the great strengths of this city is the pride that people take in the part of the city they're from, mm -hmm. down to the very neighborhood they're from. All right, and for anybody who thinks that this is a dated documentary because it's a year old, you actually updated this and have the you know COVID and the protesting and the civil unrest. Uh, why was that so important for you? Well, you know, when the pandemic hit, um, we thought we were done with the film before the pandemic hit. And when that happened, we thought, the thing you, you just talked about. We worried that people might look at this series and think of it as ancient history, uh, which of course it's not. And so we decided we needed to get back out there 
and film. And then when the George Floyd upheaval happened, it made it all the more important that we were back out there. So the whole episode five is devoted to the pandemic and all the social upheaval that has resulted from George Floyd. Steve, you're not done. You'd like to add more episodes, right, and keep this going? <laughs> you have your chance then now to feature us here on Windy City Live? <laughs> You've been doing uh, your research. Uh, <laughs> yes, I, uh, Zach Piper, my producing partner, and I joke that, and, but it's not really a joke, that if someone would pay us, we would just keep churning out episodes. We're very affordable for anyone out there that might be willing to do that. Well, we've seen you obviously do Hoop Dreams, you did America to Me in Chicago, you did The Interrupters. Is there any other topic or anything that uh, you got your mind kind of spinning for, for the next one? Well, in Chicago, not right now. You know, uh, doing this film, as noted earlier, was a serious bucket list item for me. Um, uh, but I'm sure I am far from done telling stories in Chicago because the city has so many stories to offer up. It really is the quintessential American city, and I hope that people watching this series, not just in Chicago but outside of Chicago, really get that. All right, Steve, before I let you go, i got to tell you this. I was at a restaurant. Uh, within three weeks, I run into George Ryan, then I run into Blago, almost <laughs> sitting at the same table at the same restaurant. <laughs> I mean, you got something right there. <laughs> Absolutely. There's a, there's our next episode. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, we've enjoyed this conversation with you, Steve. Thank you so much. Good to see you again. And everyone at home, be sure to check out Steve James' new five-part docuseries, City So Real on National Geographic, running commercial-free this Thursday, starting at 6 p.m. and available on Hulu the following.